you're probably unaware, but this month is October. And this month is commonly associated with ghouls and ghosts and zombies and ghosts and ghouls and zombies. And I also think I've been getting a little better at the, the whole Unreal Engine thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I also remembered this old Roblox game that I used to play called Trick or Treat in Hallowsville. And you might be thinking, I've heard of that game before. It looks boring. <laughs> Squilliam Fancy Sin. But it went pretty fucking crazy back in 2016. And it's a fairly simple game. You just knock on people's doors and get sweets. That's pretty much the entire game. You get like pets, maybe like a, a vehicle or something. But felt like it could be interesting to recreate in Unreal. It probably won't be one for one because I can't really be fucked. Now first I want to model the character and rig it up. I was trying to go for like someone in a costume and I, I kind of took this design off of like the ghosts that you see in Team Fortress. They look nothing alike pretty much. Mine's really like fucking bum cheeks, but... I then replaced the third person template model with this wonderful character right here. After getting the animations to work, you can see the cheeky bugger just scuttling around. Also, you might see the screen glitch out a little bit. I have no idea why. I, I think my PC is like fucking haunted or something. And now for the essential mechanic in this video game. Picking up sweets. I made an immensely simple suite in Blender, slapped it in a blueprint, made them go different colours, and when you left click on it, you can pick it up! Obviously it wasn't as simple as that, I did follow this tutorial. Next up was to recreate the UI, and for this I pretty much just nabbed assets from a different project and turned them yellow, I mean orange, fuck. Also notice how I've specifically been calling them sweets, even though the game says candy. Well there's a reason for this, you see I'm adding an American mode. Where well, when you press a button, it says candy. It's an American mode. You know what an American mode needs? After adding the energy bar, I was pretty much done with the character. And I kind of wanted to get started on making the map. There were a couple of ways I was thinking about going about making the map. I was going to make it in Blender, but it looked too complex. I just decided to use Unreal Landscape and put like boxes and shit on top of it. And I'm kind of rat shit at making maps, so it probably won't look too great. Once I place down the roads, I start putting blocks everywhere, like the bank. This is just so I can see where shit needs to go later on. Getting these cubes to like match up was such a pain in the gluteals and even then some of them have like textures that are the wrong size. After mapping the map I went to go make some buildings. I started off with the houses so I took some screenshots and went to Blender. And we got house. It looks okay, it doesn't look horrible. I wanted to add like a glow to the window so it looked like people were inside. But it kind of looks like somebody let off a thermonuclear weapon inside of their house. And we caught like the freeze frame of it. So I dimmed the lights and placed houses everywhere. And it's starting to look real good. And now for the other essential game mechanic is knocking on the door, or ringing the doorbell rather. But the way I did this was a little scuffed. I pretty much just had to like apply damage to the house and for it to respond. Because I couldn't do it the same way I did the sweets. Which is fine. It's not like my whole PC is going to implode if I do it this way. I then made a door animation and for the sweets to get thrown at a random amount. This was unintentional, but like the sweets just get thrown at the wall, which I thought was pretty funny. I found some free pumpkin and tree assets so I just dot around the place to make it look a little more lively. Although thinking about it, this does look like one of those liminal images of those like houses. The game also has these like grass walls to stop you from leaving, which is good because that makes things a lot easier for me. So I head back to Blender and made an elongated Minecraft block, of which I'm gonna just half-ass like place it around the edges of the map. Next building was the bank, which before was just a white cube with the word bank on it. So I think whatever I do here is gonna be an absolute upgrade. After putting it in Unreal, we need to decorate the inside and also give lighting because it's really dark on the ceiling. Maybe that's a bit too much light. Now the bank in game is like a microtransaction shop and I'm not going to be putting that in there. So instead I'm just going to be making like an ATM that you can exchange the candy for money for. The money is a bit pointless because there's nothing really to spend it on, but it's just a funny number in the corner. Also I just realised I kind of spelt money wrong. Next to the bank is a patch of pumpkins, except in the middle I'm going to put a mecho lantern. Yeah, if you don't know what a mecho lantern is, oh, that's a mecho lantern. It's pretty cool honestly. For the past two Octobers I've pretty much had this as my Discord profile picture. While well, making the next building, I had Roblox open as a reference, but because I was just standing still ominously and how diabolical my avatar looks, I think a few children walked up to me and like instantly left. 
I then went and modeled the pet store and the costume store, but obviously you can't buy anything from them. Because I want to I want, I want get this done by the age of 50. After placing a few more trees, I think I was pretty much finished. If you want to download this, I'll put it in the description.